everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the latest release from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is their new Le Mal Elixir that I have right here. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it compares to the original. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I do have hundreds of other videos just like this. I'll leave my links to the other Jean-Paul Gaultier reviews down below in the description box, along with where you can get this perfume as well. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up that really helps me and of course in the description box you can find the link to my fragrances that are all vegan cruelty free and my soy wax candles as well so the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal and um, the female version that come in these like iconic shaped bottles that are uh, you know the shape of a man or a woman it you know have been iconic for so long <laughs> Classique, le mal, Fragrances by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And the male one, the original that comes in the blue stripy bottle, I know still sells really well. And I love how they all come in these really cute presentation boxes or tins, I guess. So they're really well presented and just very unique. I know that there's been a lot of hype around this new release, so I couldn't wait to try it. So if we give it a spray here. Mm. So this is a really nice perfume. And I think the first thing to note is that even though it says Le Mal, I do think this could be worn by anyone. But if you are looking for a gift, maybe with Christmas coming up or birthdays um, for a male fragrance, I do think this is a really great scent for men. So when it opens, you get an aromatic opening note. So that's a lavender, which is quite calming. And there's also a hint of mint. So there's quite a fresh, calm opening, but it then starts to reveal some sweetener Notes, which a lot of the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances have. So you've got vanilla, but you've also got honey, which really tones down the vanilla and makes it really warm. There's tonka bean as well, which again is super warm. And there's a hint of tobacco, but it's only a hint, you guys. I really like tobacco in perfumes, you know, tobacco leaf. It doesn't smell like cigarettes or anything, don't worry. It just adds a little bit of different and intrigue. And some perfumes that have vanilla in are just so vanilla-y, and especially for a male fragrance, that can be too sweet. But here I really get the honey, the tobacco. Mm, it's really pretty and they've used a little bit of a, a benzoin which is like an amber but that honey is really coming through. There aren't many honey fragrances in the world especially for men um, so I really like this and I think I actually prefer it to the original, which is a little bit more sweeter. This is more along the lines of Le Mal Le Parfum, the black bottle that they released. And I guess because of the vanilla note, it's kind of a little bit like Paco Rabanne Million, but I find the Million perfume like the, the men's version just so sweet and a little bit musty. Whereas here, this is very clean, professional um, and what's great is the lasting power is really, really good on this, you guys. So I do think it's not too sweet. So you could wear this during the day. You could even probably wear this to the office, but in the evenings, I think this would be perfect. It's quite interesting, sexy, a little bit different, but still like cla those classic lavender and that mint top note make it quite classically male. But then that honey dry down, just make it a little bit different and interesting. This is actually a 75, mil and it retails for around 70 pounds but they do do an even bigger one which is 125 mil and that's around 120 so it's quite unusual to get 125 mil so I think that's relatively good value for money considering like the lasting power of this and the strength. I know that there is a new female version coming out that also is in a gold bottle, which I will try and get my hands on soon and do a video for, for you guys. But I do think this is probably one of my favorite releases from Jean-Paul Gaultier for men for a while. I used to really love the one they did called uh, Coco Rico that was like a black, shape of sort of a head with red writing on it. I think that was discontinued a while ago. I really liked it. It was kind of sweet, spicy. It had like a chili pepper note in, but I guess it didn't do well because it got discontinued. Um, but I think this is gonna be a bestseller for them in terms of their men's range. I think this will do really well at Christmas. Obviously it's gold as well, so it's quite Christmassy. And I think this is definitely, definitely Soki approved. But guys, let me know what your favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance is. I know there's been so many 
editions of the male and the female, like limited edition, summer ones, so many. Let me know what your favorites are. I do have an article on my blog that goes through all the different versions of the classique, the female one, and links to where you can still get some of the discontinued versions. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. I do read all your comments. And like I said, I'll put links in the description to where you can get this. But yeah, that's it for me for now, guys. Do let me know your thoughts. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.